Lisa, if you get a chance, can you talk a little bit about grace, how you define grace, what is your experience of grace, and what is grace, and what could cause it to happen? Everything is grace. So often we get told by teachers, like, waking up is grace, but everything is grace. Getting into the subject is grace. Staying asleep is grace. Like, we assume that we're separate entities that are creating our lives and doing things. And I speak as if you're the doer, but actually you're absolutely not the doer. That how did you ever do anything? How do you create the thought inside of you that says, go to the fridge now or watch TV? And how do you create that impulse? It comes from nowhere. It comes from this magical unknown mystery. And then we claim it and we say, that's me and I am doing it. And that's totally not true. It's a happening. Everything is grace. I mean, how do I speak now? I'm not sitting inside my body, like just contract each vocal cord here and here and here and create this sound and say this and say that. It's a happening. Like, how are you walking? How are you breathing? How are you moving your hands? Like you're like, I'm doing it. I'm moving the hand. How? Everything is grace. So it's not like waking up is grace. Being asleep is also grace. Everything is grace. There is never a doer in the body. The reason that I say you should look at your chakras is not because I believe there is somebody there. It's just that by me saying that, there might that might happen and that might help. But it's there's no free will. It's the same as if I said, when you cook a curry, they taste better with onions in it. It's updating your instrument and changing it and informing it. Just like I inform Safari about my tastes. Saf- uh, not Safari, um, Siri on my phone. Like by me interacting with him, him, he learns and grows and evolves dependent on what I tell him and what I say. And it's the same with humans. Your, your being evolves, your humanness evolves by what I say or what people around you say. And you own it. You say, that's me. That's me. That's not you. That's happening. It's magical. Just like the evolution of a tree, just like the evolution of our computers, like a smart computer or the evolution of... Um, these programs they have now on computers. They have these programs where you can start off at a tiny dot or something and then you, then it keeps evolving by itself and creates this magical or mysterious world. I think they even do it with scripts now. So computers are evolving by themselves, by you put in thought and then they're using thought to evolve. But that doesn't mean there's actually an entity inside the computer that's like, hmm, let me evolve. Let me learn this about this and that about that. It's a doing it. It's a happening. It's free.